This is the Lock Picking Lawyer, and the lock I have for you today is a challenge lock that was pinned up for me by Robert Bradford in Mississippi. He sent me this lock roughly two months ago. I spent some time with it and had some success, a few opens, but more often than not, the lock just laughed at me. So I put it aside for a little while, and I took it out again recently, and I had a little bit more luck with it. So I figured it was time to make a video of it, and then I can pass it along to someone else. As you can see, the key shows that the bidding is pretty good with this, a lot of high lows, and that's in addition to a Yale Y1 keyway, which I think is one of the harder of the really common keyways. So let's get going. We're gonna use top of the keyway tension with a 32 thousandths pry bar, and let's get a standard hook in 25 thousandths. Okay. Nothing on one, two is springy. Click out of three, it's all out of him. Let's see, little click out of four. Nothing on five or six. Let's go back to the beginning. Nothing on one, little click out of two. Nothing on three, four, five. Okay, little counter rotation on six. Okay, I think we got six set. Let's go back to the beginning. Nothing on one, little click out of two. Nothing on three, four, and five opened her up. Okay, let's get this guy apart and see what sort of nastiness has been, has been giving me trouble for a couple of months. Okay, I need my clip remover. Since we do have a key, I'll lock this guy back up. Looks like it has a big, a big core. Maybe not. I guess that's what we'll use. Okay, let me get the key, and hopefully we won't have too much trouble gutting this thing. Okay. Let's dump these key pins out. Okay, little overset trap on one, same on two, three, four, five. Okay, all security key pins, a couple serrated, all really deep and really sharp edges, probably designed to catch on all the threading that we have in this core, which I'll give you a close up of in a few minutes. Let's get these driver pins out now. Okay, beautiful little Christmas tree pin there. A T pin. A really, really sharp serrated pin. A very sharp and very deep spool in number four. Okay, looks like we have a pin in pin operation in number five, and I think it was in like this. See if we can get that spring out. I'll get number six and then I'll find the spring. Okay, and then another really deep and very, very sharp spool in number six. Okay, let's see about five in spring now. There we 
you go. Okay, looks like a some light tension in number five. Okay, let's uh, let's give you a close up of all this stuff. Before we go too far into it, let me show you what's inside of the the Bible. Okay, so you can see we have threading in pretty much all the threads, although or all the chambers, although it doesn't appear to go all the way down in all of them. Looks like it certainly goes all the way to the bottom in six, five, and four. But then two and three look like there's a little bit of unthreaded, and then one, the threading goes all the way down. Obviously the top was taken off of this core and screws were put in there to plug it up. Okay, let's give you a close up of everything else now. First, the pins. As you can see, all the key pins are security pins with either one or two serrations. All very, very sharp edges. Looks like that was meant to catch on the, the threading. Then going up to the driver pins. Number one is a Christmas tree pin. Two is a T pin. Three has some very deep serrations. Four and six are very deep and very sharp spools. And then number five is pin in pin with a serrated outer pin. And then a, just a standard inner pin. Moving over to the core, we can see lots of threading here. And it's really sharp, really clean threading in chambers one, two, three, four, and six. And then none in number five, although it's possible there's a little counter milling, maybe that was stock with the core. And then of course we have all the threading I showed you in the Bible. Okay, so Robert, this is a great lock. Thanks for sending this my way. Sorry it took so long to get it on video, but that's what happens when you do a good job. I'll send this out to someone else. To everyone else, if you have any questions or comments, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.